G'day viewers, Jason Joondal Up Electrical Services. Just doing a little bit of fault finding today uh, in Willerton. Um, we've got this Delta Silivia 2.5. They're generally, I've noticed that my parents have got these inverters and they've been on there for years working fine, but other people have had um, many replaced under warranty. This one's out of warranty. And it looks like this one and its partner in crime over there have both failed. So that one is saying PV voltage too low, but in fact I've tested it and the PV voltage is fine. Um, so it looks like that one's dead. This one has actually got a different problem. This one's got no display whatsoever, despite having DC volts. I've been up on the roof and checked everything. We've got nothing here at all. It's completely dead. Yep, I've got my amp meter on the DC input and we can see we've got a little bit of current flowing. Um, so if I turn that off, which just a reminder guys, don't do that when they're under load. I'm only doing it at the moment because it was such a small amount of current. Um, normally I'd use an external one for testing. That's my plug-in tester. Oops. Um, but this one, when I turn it off, the current stops. So that's telling me it's got an internal short here on the MPPT. Uh, so this one is also cactus, but in a different manner. Now the reason there's two small inverters on the one property is because back in the day we couldn't get three phase inverters. So the solution for phase balancing, what was required was to have two single phase inverters on three phase properties for the purpose of phase balancing. You could have two, you could have three, but you couldn't have one. Actually, sorry, you could have one, but only a little itty bitty baby one. Um, so if you wanted anything with a bit of decent capacity, you had to have two or three uh, for phase balancing on the network. So unfortunately, both of these are dead. Um, they've got to be replaced. The solar panels are okay. Um, they're not too bad. They're the old Conergy ones. Fancy German name, but just a Chinese product. Um, but they're okay. They're not too bad. A few dead cells, but they're all right. So unfortunately, it's going to be a uh, case of replacing these and putting some new ones on. The client is selling the property, so we are just going to put two budget ones on there. Um, ordinarily, if these two inverters were close together, I would just put one three-phase inverter on um, because obviously we can readily get three-phase inverters now. But because they are separate, uh, I am going to have to put two single-phase inverters on because I can't go changing the DC run because that would be considered an alteration and then I have to bring everything into line with current standards and obviously that's not economically viable. So they're selling the house, we're just gonna get it back up and running and uh, tick all the boxes there so they can uh, proceed with the sale of the house. Cheers guys.